Hello, my name is Mordred Viking and I'd like to introduce you to the Dutch. You ask, what is our aim? I can answer in one word. It is trade. Trade at all costs. Trade in spite of all terror. Trade, however long and hard the road may be. For without trade, there is no profit. It's nothing personal. It's just good business. You can find me primarily on twitch.tv slash mordredviking and also at youtube.com slash mordredviking. Remember to also check out all of the other great creators here as well, links to which are in the description below. And I want to say a really big thanks to Zate for bringing us along for the ride. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a biz... I mean a country to run. And now that we got the intro out of the way, let's have a quick look at our starting situation. So first of all, as you heard, our priority is money. Money, money, and money. Which we are making a lot of right now, which does allow us to expand our navy a fair bit, uh, which we are certainly expanding. Now of course, uh, unfortunately we don't have capabilities to build the first rate, but we can build a lot of the smaller rates, so we are focusing on that. In terms of research, we're currently researching uh, better mining because mining has a good profit also a bit more space effective uh, rations and then uh, better gunpowder storage as well uh, also in uh, Caribbean we are researching bigger caliber guns or cannons and then in Paramaribo we are researching better accuracy for our guns as well so with all of this, we should be able to get rather good ships out sooner rather than later. Now we are also building a little bit of troops, mostly uh, a bit more defensive kind. And of course we're building some survey companies because there's multiple places that we have that can actually get some better resources with some surveying. For example, Paramaribo has a good crown page server potential is not guaranteed that we'll find anything but it's uh, likely and in Cape Town we are also having a low chance there and then was it yes Batavia also has a minimal and none of the rest really have anything now our navy is actually one of the largest but it's more centered towards the middle ranks compared to many other navies so just gonna quickly take a look at the total numbers there you are so of course we have no first rates but we got 14 second rates 52 third rates 49 fourth rates 51 fifth rates then 41 sixth rates and 34 seventh rates so we have a lot of ships possibly one of the largest navies in this game right now and of course we also have a decent bit of trading going on already if we have a look at our diplomacy then we are trading with all the European powers we have started negotiating with also the Ottomans and the Mughals but unfortunately we have not received an answer quite yet so we have been unable to start trading with them but I'm sure that we can manage uh, getting some more trade deals with them sooner or later of course we are also trading with the pirates because it, it's simply good business right and our target if we have a look at the galactic map a little bit we have holdings in caribbean brazil or coast of brazil then in guinea cape town west indian ocean lakadiv sea malacca strait and java sea and our goal is to expand into Tasmanian Sea as well. Because I have a feeling that there will be uh, valuable things there, or at least I hope so. So we'll be focusing on surveying, first of all, the places that we currently are in to see if we can find even more resources somewhere in there. And also we'll go to Tasmanian Sea and probably East Indian Ocean as well. So we'll have... Uh, our focus is probably more along the or near the Indian Oceans rather than uh, near the Atlantic but anyway let's uh, close that and I think uh, that's about it for right now so I will see you in a bit Captain, we're out of fire the coastal fortifications on Kuala Lumpur are firing upon our uh, survey ship and we can only hope that we can escape from there alive looks like we made it 
Let's head back to Malacca and see what the damage is. Well, our ship has uh, returned to Malacca, but it did sustain a fair bit of damage. The survey gear is still damaged, but we're currently trying to repair that. Unfortunately, we can't repair the armor here. Closest to a repair facility would be in Paramaribo in Brazil, which means that we'll probably have to stay here and try to do whatever we can with this. Luckily, these ships aren't all that expensive to make, so we can probably just get a new one. Looks like our gunpowder storage efficiency has been increased. So now we shall start uh, searching ways to get more out of our sails. We've finished building another exploring ship, which will be sent from Amsterdam to through Brazil to South Atlantic and to survey the seas over there. Today, two new ships of the line have been set sail. Currently, they are in the harbour of Amsterdam, but they will probably be used to protect our interests in the oceans soon after. Unfortunately, we cannot really increase our ship production right at this moment, but hopefully that will not be a problem soon enough. Our researchers have found a way to harness more power from the wind, trade winds that is. Now we are designing improved uh, gunpowder storages, after which we will uh, make sure to get the improved sails underway, and after that we'll probably have enough to start de designing new ships. And there we have it, that's the end of the year, so let's have a look at what's our nation, or how's our nation doing right now. So if we have a quick look at the sh shipyard tasks, we are not actually building many ships right now. We've already built most of them that we can, so we'll be not building more right now, mostly due to the economic limitations. Even though our economy was probably one of the better ones to start with. Uh, we have also gone a little bit into debt right now, but I'm sure that we can fix that sooner or later. We are still uh, having a almost full economic production modifier, and the fact that we got so many trade deals going on means that we'll probably have a lot of money at the start of next year, so that will probably keep us going for the next year, and maybe even the following year. Which means that in the following year we'll suddenly be getting more food, because we're not actually getting all that much right now. And in terms of research, we are currently researching, uh, well, we'll be researching a lot of the various sales, as well as the gunpowder storages. The gunpowder storage shouldn't be taking too long to finish. And then we'll also be getting the higher mining production and um, our sailing needing a bit less rations, which is going to be useful. Uh, of course, this is going to take a while, so we decided to go ahead and design the new sails, which this uh, will not affect the currently research sales. What we did with the sales is we lowered the speed maybe a little bit to make them more economic, which means that we'll save a lot in uh, rations. And it, it will still increase the speed of our ships, so it should be fine. But saving the rations means that we can have a bigger fleet, which means uh, more profit, maybe. And then in Caribbean we are researching the bigger guns, that should be done sometime next year. Not sure when exactly, but we'll see. And then in Paramaribo, we are researching a uh, better accuracy for our guns, which we'll hopefully get in a timely manner. It should be April next year, or technically this year already, but yeah, it should be within a few months. And that's about it in terms of research. So let's have a quick look at. Uh, well, first of all, we do have a fleet moving down towards Cape of Good Hope. It's currently in South Atlantic and should be reaching there within a month or two. It'll take a little bit of a rest there and then we'll probably move it to Lakatif Sea and maybe to Malacca Strait to be able to maybe protect our interests around there a little bit more. Also, we'll probably start shifting some of the other ships around as well. And now we've done a decent bit of survey at the Arctic Sea. We haven't actually surveyed a lot other around North Sea right now. Caribbean is mostly surveyed, it's the same for coast of Brazil. Uh, coast of Guinea will done a little bit, Cape of Good Hope is almost entirely surveyed, so then we'll probably 
sprawl out to Congo and Mozambique and South Atlantic. The West Indian Ocean we've done a tiny bit but I think what happened there is we did a bit of a survey there and then the ship ran out of fuel and went to Lagarde to see to refuel and then stayed there. But it will be back eventually. But yeah, I'm currently moving some fleets to or some ships to Cape of Good Hope and we'll start moving more of the fleets next year or the upcoming year. Then uh, in terms of uh, civilian shipping, we do have one shipping line currently which is doing a decent profit. It's taking mostly colonists from Amsterdam to Cape Town and Curacao. Actually no, Cape Town and Fort Elmira. Curacao is probably one of the sources of colonists. Uh, but it's also doing a little bit of trading between or over the Atlantic, so getting a tiny bit there. I'm sure that the shipping line will expand in numbers soon enough, because clearly they must understand that there's a lot of profit to be had. Now in terms of civilian mining colonies, we do actually have one of them in Caribbean, and it's mining a little bit of, uh, or harvesting a little bit of wood and uh, brass, which we don't necessarily need that much. I mean, those quantities are nice, but the ex total accessibilities are not huge. So we are just uh, taxing them. And we'll get a decent extra income from that. Should help us out a little bit. And in terms of, uh, we already had a look at the Empire Mineral, but we're getting pretty much a decent amount of uh, most minerals. We are not getting a huge amount of sailcloth or rigging or food. Right now, at least the stockpiles are not increasing hugely, but everything else is pretty good. Should be alright, and in terms of uh, industry, of course, we are building mostly the regular stuff, expanding our research facilities a little bit in Amsterdam, and then mostly just uh, construction, mining, finance, rations, and all that sort of stuff, like uh, a steady increase in most areas. It should be helpful. We do need to set up some uh, shipping going between the places to even out the numbers a little bit so, so that everything can produce whatever they need, or at least uh, build stuff that they need. But that's probably something that we'll sort out in the upcoming years. But I think that's about it for this episode, so make sure to check out Mortar's channel, uh, links are down below in the description, and we'll see you next week.